that had given the EPA authority to regulate these coal burning power plants. But the effect of this recent case is actually to limit that one. And it didn't specifically overrule that prior case. Uh, that was American Electric Company versus Connecticut, a 2011 case. A lot has happened in the last 11 years. Primarily, the number of books and materials out there that explain the science that refutes the, the climate change hoax have increased in numbers so that now it's easy for someone to find materials that actually will discuss the science. Thank goodness the Supreme Court has, has come to this recognition because the, the Supreme Court in Massachusetts versus EPA put us on a, on a very uh, dangerous road. And the Supreme Court has now changed course. And, and I, I think as long as they are there will be a check against the, the radical and irrational unsupported positions of the Green New Dealers. Well, that concludes our discussion for today. I hope it's helpful. I think you'll see this is very timely. It's just amazing how the, the, the uh, uh, climate change agenda is the one remaining aspect of Biden's presidency that he's attempting to move forward with as, he, as we move towards the midterm election in November, where the Biden administration has taken it on the chin. And his approach seems to be he's not changing ways He's just bearing down harder, and I think, I'm guessing that he feels at this point his only hope is that the radical left wing that has given him support will hang with him, and uh, will that be enough to, to save him and his party? I don't think so, because it's a losing position, and so therefore I project the Republicans will retake the House <clears throat> in November. They may retake the Senate, the Senate and, but once they retake the House, the, they will be a, a helpful check on the extremist and fanatical and expensive policies of the Green New Dealers that are right now with all that Biden is doing are frankly wrecking our economy. There is a worldwide economic problem, but it is being made much worse by the extremist policies of President Biden. That concludes our discussion today. Thanks for joining us. Remember, <clears throat> the liberties that we enjoy in America can be maintained only when its citizens are moral and informed participants in the democratic processes. The closing argument can help us to do this. We'll see you next week. Take care.